Avi, what are you up to out here at Luke Air Force Base? Uh, just, just checking security. I'm checking security with the K-9 team here, the military dogs, and they are amazing at what they can do. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we are with Sergeant Winbush, and also that is Wax. And Wax is a beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd. We want to bring in Sergeant Bush right now. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, as far as the military dogs, really, you can be deployed anywhere doing anything. Yes, sir. So we have one currently who's serving overseas, and anywhere we go, essentially, the dogs go with us. We're considered a team. So if you see a dog, no way a handler's attached. <laughs> when you look at these dogs, how do you select them? I mean, are they selected uh, based on their breed? Or, or does, it, does it just depend on their temperament or what you see that they could possibly achieve? So there's a few things that we look at when we're selecting dogs. I per se am not selecting the dogs, but uh, down at Lackland, they're looking at the dogs to make sure they have drive. Uh, drive in the meaning of do they want to chase balls, do they want to chase people, if they have the temperament that we need to be able to work around the public without constantly just causing issues. Uh, and then the training comes in after that. And with the training, we need to make sure that one, they're going to be able to detect either narcotics or explosives. Uh, they're going to be able to help us out if we have to subdue a bad guy, essentially. For the dogs, though, the training process, that's like uh, fun for them, right? You do a lot of hide and seek drills and stuff, and that's kind of get their brains working. We do, absolutely. So we like to make everything that we do a game. That way it makes it easier for the dogs to learn because they don't speak English. <laughs> so it's, we have to find a way to communicate with the dogs and make it as fun as possible so they want to work for us. When you, when you look at the search patterns, how do you go about that? And is this kind of what we're seeing uh, the way that you train them? You're seeing a little bit of it right now. Right now you see the obstacle course that we conduct every day just to represent certain things that we may encounter in the real world. So if I'm on the road or one of my handlers are on the road and they come to a window, some of the obstacles right here are going to represent a window that the dogs need to hurdle. Uh, some of the other things, a tunnel, if we have to somehow come to a culvert and we have to go locate an individual inside the culvert, the dogs build the confidence by just doing these basic tasks every day to go out into the real world and be able to make sure we get the bad guy, essentially. One thing you, you pointed out to me, there are no days off for these dogs. You're constantly training them. Correct. Every day is a training day. There's no real set time on when they're fully trained either. It's just like us. We're always learning every day. The dogs are doing the same thing. They'll start with the foundations down at Lackland for a few months. And once they get to us, they're constantly learning. And one thing you said, any dignitaries, uh, wherever they are across uh, the United States, across the globe for that matter, uh, you guys are there making sure that they're safe and secure. Absolutely. So it'll normally come down, hey, we need to do sweeps for maybe the president, maybe the vice president, and we're out the next day. So it's a real quick turnaround for us. The dog and the handler get all snazzy in their suits and they get to go play essentially. We make it fun. We play with them while they're actually really doing work. Yeah, well, thank you very much for what you do. Thank you for your service. Thank Beautiful you. dogs out here. And it's funny when uh, they're not training, they are so gentle and beautiful. They'll come up, they'll give you licks and, and kisses and all that good stuff. But you don't want to mess with them, April, <laughs> because these are highly trained dogs. Mm -hmm.